Don't stop running toward your dream. Keep going. Keep going. It will keep you going. Keeping yourself going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. What's a common uh, common mistake you see a lot of entrepreneurs making these days that you run into on a daily basis? Um, due diligence. Due diligence. They don't want to do the necessary homework. They want the finished product. Wow. And I work with young guys in basketball sometimes. I go to the gym. We go to the gym, the first thing they do, they, they grab the basketball. Put the basketball down. Let's get some condition first. Let's get in basketball condition. Let's get in business condition. Go out, research your product, research the avenue, learn the pitfall. Look, you can build a business on a shoestring budget if you make few mistakes. The fewer mistakes you make, the better success you're going to be and the less money you waste in that process. Think big because then you're going to get big. Then you're going to go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You know, We don't achieve big things by accident. So shoot for the top, shoot for the sky, shoot for the, you know, uh, uh, for the stars. Your respect for time, time is a prediction of your financial future. I never met a poor man who looked at his watch often. Never met a wealthy man who didn't. The major difference I can see between prosperity and poverty is the attentiveness to the importance and value of ours. God didn't give you friends, he gave you time. You traded time and made friends. Everything you've got, you've got because you were willing to trade time for it. And everything you don't have, you've been unwilling to exchange your time for. The other thing is, is that you got to work your butt off. Um, if you think that you're going to go and accomplish something really special and be the best in anything in the world, and you think you can do it without working, you make a big mistake. Because no matter what I did, if it was in bodybuilding or in acting or if it is in, in, in the political arena, uh, it always took a lot, a lot of work. And you got to put out and you got to, you know, something to make a lot of sacrifices notice. If you're not willing to work hard, forget about it. So there's another rule that is uh, very important. So how did you overcome the struggles of, uh, of uh, having like stagnation in your purpose? How did you overcome that? I tuned outside voices out. Okay. That was one of the big things for me because I was looking to everybody asking, what do you think I should be doing? Wow. What do you think I should be doing? What do you think I should be doing? And everybody had the comment, you should be a doctor, you should be a teacher, you should be a nurse. It wasn't until I went to God and say, God, what should I be doing? Right, right, what right. do you want me to do to impact the nations? Wow. And that's when God began to show me through his scripture, through his word, through being connected to a church. That's when he began to show me, hey, Lakeisha, this is what I want you to do because I found great joy there. My only idea, my only focus was to do my one play and I knew if I could get that to work, everything else would come to pass. There's so many people who go in so many directions. They, you know, this week they're doing this, and next week they're doing that, and next week they're doing this, and next week they're gonna be in real estate, and the next week they're gonna open a salon. And those, those kind of people are all over the place, and I usually try to get them to focus. Focus on one thing, one area. Put all of your energy into watering one area. If you spread the water across many, many seeds, you don't have as much water for one seed. So focus on one thing. Make it your priority and stick with it no matter what. 